Hello, my name's Mike Vimbley, and I'm the math head here at, at uh, St. Francis Xavier. And I'm here to talk to you about uh, what you could, what your grade eight student can expect when they come to grade nine. Um, as far as mask mandates go and use of lockers and all of these things, I can't speak to that. Whether it will be a quad master system or uh, semesters, again, I simply don't know. But when it comes to math class, that I can talk to you about. Uh, there will be math homework assigned just about every night, 30 to 45 minutes of it to practice the skills learned in math class that day. So you can expect your young student to, to have to do math homework just about every night. Um, each teacher in the math department has a website, like Google Classroom, for example, where materials needed for the lesson will be published and the student can print them and bring them to class. Uh, there's the, math, the homework outlines for each unit are published there, and the student can um, easily find out what needs to be done. Um, let's talk about the choice of math courses that have to be made as, as a student enters grade nine. Formally, a student had to choose between four possible streams or pathways through, the, through high school. But the Ministry of Education has, has de-streamed two of those, the main ones in fact, and so now there's, there's only three streams, and I'll talk about those individually. Uh, the, three, the three choices are grade nine essential math, grade nine pre-IB math, and grade nine de-streamed math, which is an, an amalgamation of grade nine academic and grade nine applied math from previous years. They no longer exist, it's just, you simply get grade nine de-streamed. So we'll start with grade nine essential. Grade nine essential is designed to prepare the student uh, the, with the basic math that a, a person needs to, to function as a citizen in Canada. It's just the basic math, it, grade nine, the essential math. It's not intended, this stream is not intended for the student who intends to pursue post-secondary education that would involve any math or science. There's less homework assigned in the course because most of the learning is practical, hands-on activities in the classroom. Evaluations are often small assignments and projects. And the concepts uh, learned include personal budgeting of money, how, ways to uh, earn and spend money, how taxes are collected and paid, measurement of length and the various systems of measurement, areas of figures, volumes of containers, and all for practical purposes like cooking or home improvement projects. Now let's talk about Grade 9 Pre-IB. Grade 9 Pre-IB, just as its title implies, is geared to the student who, who is intent on taking the IB program here at St. Francis Xavier. It's an intense academic uh, math course that includes abstract mathematical concepts designed to stimulate and challenge the hard-working math student. And this brings us to the grade 9 D stream math course. The vast majority of grade 9 math students will be taking this course. This is an amalgam of grade 9 academic and grade 9 applied. And the intended purpose of amalgamating the grade 9 applied and the grade 9 academic math courses is to postpone the choice about the student's future math studies for one year. There was already a large overlap in the curriculum between these two old courses, which is mostly included in the new course. This overlap includes the study of linear relations and solving simple linear equations. But there is a new strand in the, in the, of study in the new curriculum, and this strand is entitled social-emotional learning, which is required to be integrated into all of the, all of the other topics, so each strand each topic, there's, there's supposed to be, uh, according to the ministry, um, some social emotional learning skills taught along with it. 
The curriculum includes explicit language on creating anti-racist and, and anti-discriminatory learning environments. Some of the topics added to the curriculum include solving basic computer coding problems, and this is new. And this means being able to read basic computer code and to create some basic computer code on, a, on an easy level. Other topics added to the curriculum include personal financial planning, mortgages, loans, and basic investments. Making purchasing decisions and other financial decisions partly based on changing circumstances and depreciation and appreciation of some assets. Modifying budgets based on these changing circumstances. In, on another uh, area, some of the additional topics for grade 9 D-stream math include some topics in geometry such as properties of circles. So it, we are currently in the, in the throes of figuring out this new curriculum and interpreting documents provided to us by the Ministry of Education. There's not a textbook for it yet, but perhaps next year there will be. It's been my pleasure to uh, explain to you the, the results of uh, the, the new grade nine curriculum, and I hope your student has a good year next year at St. Francis Xavier.